Are you tired of setting goals that never seem to stick? You're not alone. Every year, millions of people set ambitious goals only to abandon them just a few weeks later. But what if there's a smarter way? A method that guarantees not only setting the right goals but actually achieving them. Stick around because in this video, we'll break down how to master intentional planning and goal setting that lasts. All right, let's get real for a second. How many times have you set a goal felt super motivated for the first few days, but eventually life happens and that goal fades into the background. It's a frustrating cycle, but the truth is it doesn't have to be this way. Today, we're going to show you how to set goals that aren't just dreams on paper, but a plan for action. Why do so many people fail at goal setting? First things first, let's talk about why so many of us fail when it comes to goal setting. The most common reasons? Goals that are too vague, too unrealistic, or don't have a clear plan for how to achieve them. Without a roadmap, you're just wandering in the dark, hoping to bump into success. But here's the thing. Effective goal setting isn't about willpower or motivation alone. It's about intentional planning, having the right tools, and knowing how to set goals that align with your life, not against it. Smart goals, the framework for success. Let's start with a simple but powerful framework you might have heard of, SMART goals. This acronym stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Here's how it works. Specific, a vague goal like, I want to get fit, doesn't give you any direction. Instead say, I want to lose 10 pounds by working out four times a week and cutting out junk food. See the difference? It gives you clarity. Measurable, if you can't measure your progress, how will you know if you're moving forward? In the previous example, 10 pounds is a measurable outcome. Knowing this keeps you accountable. Achievable. Don't set yourself up for failure with a goal that's way out of reach. Sure, dreaming big is great, but if it's too overwhelming, you'll likely give up. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. Relevant. Your goal should align with your bigger life plans and values. If it doesn't really matter to you, why would you stay motivated? Time-bound. A deadline gives your goal urgency. Without a time frame, there's no accountability. A goal without a deadline is just a wish. Reverse engineering working backwards from the end goal. Now that we've covered the SMART framework, let's talk about reverse engineering your goals. This is a technique where you start with the end result and work backward. It's one of the most effective ways to figure out how to achieve big goals. Let's say your goal is to start a business. Instead of being overwhelmed by the thought of creating a whole company, start by imagining what your business looks like when it's fully operational. Then, think about the steps needed to get there. What skills do you need to develop? How much money do you need to save? Break it down into smaller, actionable steps. By reverse engineering, you get clarity on what needs to happen and in what order. This prevents that, where do I even begin feeling, which often leads to procrastination. Time blocking, managing your time effectively. Setting goals is one thing. Actually dedicating the time to achieve them is another. That's where time blocking comes in. Time blocking is a simple technique where you allocate specific time slots in your day to focus on specific tasks. It's a way to ensure that your goals are getting the time and attention they deserve. For example, if you're trying to launch a side hustle while working a full-time job, you might block out 7 o'clock a.m. to 9 o'clock a.m. every weekday to work on your business. This prevents distractions and keeps you on track. Another advantage of time blocking? It helps prevent burnout. By scheduling both work and rest times, you can ensure you're working toward your goals without overloading yourself. The Power of Accountability One of the most underrated tools for achieving goals is accountability. When you tell someone else about your goal, you're much more likely to stick to it. This could be a friend, a mentor, or even a community of like-minded people who are working towards similar goals. You can take this a step further by setting up regular check-ins to review your progress. This keeps you honest with yourself, and it helps you stay motivated even when the initial excitement starts to wear off, tracking progress and adjusting along the way. It's important to realize that goal setting isn't a one-time thing. You need to consistently track your progress and adjust your plan as necessary. Life happens, things come up, priorities shift, and sometimes your original plan might not be working as well as you thought it would. That's okay. The key is to be flexible and willing to adjust when necessary. Use tools like habit trackers, journals, or even simple to-do lists to keep yourself on track. And remember, progress is progress, no matter how small. What happens when you miss a goal? Let's be real, not every goal is going to be a slam dunk. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, you might miss a deadline or fall short. 
That's okay too. The most important thing is to not let one setback derail your entire progress. When you miss a goal, take time to reflect. What went wrong? Was the goal too ambitious? Did life get in the way? Use these moments as learning experiences rather than reasons to quit. Adjust, replan, and keep moving forward. The role of vision in goal setting. Before diving deeper into the methods, let's talk about vision. A clear vision is like a compass that guides all your goals. Without a vision, your goals might not feel purposeful, and you're more likely to drift off course. Think about where you want to be in the next 5, 10, or even 20 years. What kind of lifestyle do you want? What kind of career, relationships, or achievements will make you proud? This big picture thinking helps ensure that your goals are aligned with what truly matters to you. Your goals are like stepping stones toward your larger vision. For example, if your long-term vision is to be a successful entrepreneur, your immediate goals might include learning essential skills like digital marketing, building a network, or launching a side business. Oh, I see me, so, yeah, I need. Having this vision in mind keeps you motivated when the going gets tough because you know exactly what you're working toward. Breaking goals into micro goals. One of the main reasons people fail to achieve their goals is because they bite off more than they can chew. You might have an ambitious goal like, I want to be financially independent in five years. But if that's all you focus on, it can feel overwhelming. That's why you need to break that large goal down into micro goals. These are small, manageable steps that move you toward your bigger goal. Let's break down the financial independence example. Instead of just saying, I want to be financially independent, your micro goals could be, save $500 a month for the next six months, learn how to invest in index funds by reading two books on investing, and eliminate unnecessary monthly expenses by 10%. Each micro goal is actionable, time-bound, and achievable. Completing them gives you a sense of progress, making the overall goal feel more reachable. The importance of setting priorities. Another key element of intentional planning is prioritization. It's easy to set 10 different goals, but the reality is we all have limited time and energy. The danger of trying to do too much at once is that you dilute your focus and none of your goals get the attention they deserve. This is where the Pareto Principle, or the 80-20 rule, comes into play. The idea is that 80% of your results come from 20% of your efforts. In other words, focus on the few goals that will have the biggest impact on your life and career. Let's say you're working on your side hustle while also trying to improve your fitness, learn a new skill, and maintain a social life. Which of these goals will have the biggest impact on your life in the long term? Focus on the ones that align most closely with your vision and prioritize them. It's better to do a few things well than to do many things poorly. Creating a system for success. Let's talk about systems versus goals. While goals give you direction, systems are the daily routines and habits that help you achieve them. If you want to lose weight, your goal might be to drop 15 pounds, but your system is what will get you there. That could include meal planning, working out five times a week, and tracking your calorie intake. A goal is great for providing focus, but a system keeps you moving in the right direction even when you're not feeling motivated. The beauty of systems is that they create consistency, which is ultimately what leads to success. Author James Clear in his book Atomic Habits explains it perfectly. You don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. So as you're setting your goals, think about the systems you need to build around them. The role of visualization and affirmations. You might have heard about the power of visualization and positive affirmations in goal setting, and there's actually some science to back it up. Visualization is a mental practice where you imagine yourself achieving your goal. Professional athletes use this technique all the time. Before a game, they visualize making the perfect play, and it primes their brain for success. For your own goals, take a few minutes each day to close your eyes and visualize yourself accomplishing them. How will it feel when you reach that milestone? What will your life look like? This simple practice can boost your confidence and keep you motivated. Affirmations are another helpful tool. These are positive statements you repeat to yourself to overcome self-doubt and reinforce belief in your abilities. For example, if your goal is to become a confident public speaker, you might repeat affirmations like, I am a clear and confident communicator, or I speak with passion and purpose. These techniques might seem small, but they can have a powerful effect on your mindset. Overcoming obstacles and setbacks. Let's face it, no matter how well you plan, life is unpredictable and obstacles will arise. The key to long-term success is knowing how to handle setbacks without losing momentum. 
When an obstacle gets in the way of your goal, don't see it as a failure. Instead, view it as a learning opportunity. Ask yourself, what can I do differently next time? Or how can I adapt to this situation? Resilience is one of the most important traits for goal achievement. You will encounter challenges along the way. That's inevitable. What matters is how you respond to them. Instead of letting setbacks discourage you, use them to sharpen your strategy, building habits for long-term success. One of the best ways to ensure that your goals stick is by turning the actions required to achieve them into habits. Habit building is a powerful tool that ensures your progress becomes second nature. For example, if your goal is to read more books, start by reading just five pages a day. Over time, this small action builds up, and before you know it, you've developed a habit that will stick. The key here is consistency. Even when you're not feeling motivated, sticking to your habits will keep you moving forward. Remember, habits are the building blocks of any successful goal-setting strategy. If you want your goals to last, focus on creating habits that support them, rewarding yourself for milestones. Achieving goals isn't all about hard work. There's a psychological component too. When you reach a milestone, take time to celebrate your wins. This could be as simple as treating yourself to a nice dinner or taking a day off to relax. Celebrating milestones gives you a sense of progress, and that's essential for staying motivated over the long haul. It's also a reminder that you're on the right track, and it reinforces positive behavior. The Eisenhower Matrix, prioritizing tasks that move the needle. When it comes to achieving your goals, not all tasks are created equal. Some tasks directly push you forward, while others are distractions disguised as productivity. Enter the Eisenhower Matrix, a decision-making framework that helps you sort tasks based on urgency and importance. The Eisenhower Matrix has four quadrants, urgent and important, tasks that require immediate attention, like deadlines or crises. These are the tasks you should focus on first. Important, but not urgent. These are the long-term strategic tasks that move you closer to your big goals, like learning a new skill or planning a project. Prioritize these after the urgent ones. Urgent, but not important. These are tasks that are time sensitive, but don't contribute significantly to your main goals, like certain emails or last minute requests. If possible, delegate or minimize these. Not urgent and not important. These tasks are pure distractions, like endless social media scrolling or attending meetings without clear objectives. Eliminate or drastically limit these. Using the Eisenhower matrix regularly can help you stay focused on what really matters, preventing burnout from trying to tackle too many unnecessary tasks. It's not about doing more, but about doing what's most impactful. Setting outcome goals versus process goals. There's a common misconception that goals should always be focused on the outcome. While outcome goals are important, they define what you want to achieve. Focusing only on them can sometimes lead to frustration. That's where process goals come in. Outcome goals focus on the end result. For example, I want to lose 10 pounds or I want to make $100,000 this year. These are great for giving you a direction, but they don't tell you how to get there. Process goals, on the other hand, focus on the actions you'll take to achieve those outcomes. For example, I will exercise for 30 minutes every day, or I will make 10 sales calls each week. Process goals are entirely within your control, and they ensure that you're taking consistent action toward your outcome. By setting process goals alongside your outcome goals, you can stay focused on daily habits and actions that will ultimately lead to success. And the best part? You'll feel a sense of accomplishment every day because you're hitting those small, actionable targets. Goal stacking building momentum with layered habits. Another powerful technique for long-term success is goal stacking, which involves layering new habits onto existing ones to build momentum. For example, let's say you already have a morning routine where you drink coffee every day. You can stack a new habit on top of that by using your coffee time to read for 10 minutes or jot down your top three goals for the day. This way, you're not disrupting your routine, you're enhancing it. By stacking habits, you create a chain of positive actions that become automatic over time. This reduces the mental load of remembering to take action on your goals, making it easier to stay consistent in the long run. You can use goal stacking for nearly any area of your life. If you want to improve your fitness, you could stack a five minute workout after brushing your teeth each morning. If you're trying to grow your business, you could spend 15 minutes brainstorming new ideas every time you sit down at your desk. The key is to start small, build consistency, 
and add more layers over time. The 1% rule, small changes, big impact, one of the most effective ways to achieve long-term success is by following the 1% rule. This idea comes from the concept of continuous improvement, where small incremental changes compound over time to produce significant results. Think about it. If you improve just 1% every day, those small improvements add up. And by the end of the year, you're not just 365% better, you're exponentially better. For instance, if your goal is to become a better writer, you don't need to write a whole book overnight. Start by writing just 100 words a day. Over time, that consistency will improve your writing skills and help you develop a daily habit. The same principle applies to any goal, whether it's fitness, learning a new skill, or building a business. Small actions, repeated consistently, will compound into big results. It's less about radical transformation overnight and more about steady, continuous improvement. Creating accountability systems for ongoing progress. We've already talked about the importance of accountability, but let's dive a little deeper into creating a system that holds you accountable to your goals. Accountability is one of the strongest motivators when it comes to sticking to your goals because it adds external pressure to perform. Here are a few effective ways to build accountability into your goal setting. Accountability partner. Find someone who is also working toward their own goals and agree to check in with each other regularly. This could be a friend, colleague, or even a mentor. You'll hold each other accountable and provide support when things get tough. Join a mastermind group. Being part of a mastermind group gives you the opportunity to share your goals with a group of like-minded people. These groups often meet regularly to discuss progress, offer advice, and share resources, making it harder for you to slack off. Publicly announce your goals. This doesn't mean you have to post your goals all over social media, but telling a few trusted people what you're working on creates a sense of commitment. Once you've shared your goal with others, you'll feel more compelled to follow through. Track your progress. Whether it's using an app, a journal, or a simple spreadsheet, tracking your progress gives you a visual reminder of how far you've come. It can be as simple as checking off a box each day you complete a task. This small act of tracking keeps you accountable and encourages you to stay consistent. The importance of reviewing and revising your goals. Goal setting isn't a set it and forget it process. You need to regularly review and revise your goals to make sure they're still aligned with your vision and to see how much progress you've made. Here's a simple framework for reviewing your goals. Weekly review. Every week, take 15 to 30 minutes to assess your progress. Are you on track? Did you face any obstacles that need to be addressed? What will you focus on in the coming week to keep moving forward? Monthly review. At the end of each month, do a deeper review. Look at how much progress you've made and ask yourself if your goals are still relevant. Are there any changes you need to make? Do any new opportunities or challenges require you to adjust your strategy? Quarterly review. Every three months, review your bigger picture. Are your goals moving you toward your long-term vision? Is there anything you need to revise or refocus on? This is also a great time to celebrate any major milestones you've hit. By consistently reviewing and adjusting your goals, you ensure that they remain relevant and that you're always moving in the right direction. The journey is the reward setting goals is just the beginning. The real magic happens when you commit to the process, stay flexible, and keep showing up, even when it gets tough. Remember, achieving your goals isn't just about reaching the destination, it's about the person you become along the way. Goals give you direction, but it's the journey, the challenges you overcome, and the lessons you learn that truly shape your success. So start today. Set a goal, break it down into actionable steps, and take that first step. Whether it's a tiny 1% improvement or a full-fledged action plan, every bit of progress counts. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, consider subscribing to Inspiration Junction and give us a thumbs up to show your support. We're all about bringing you the tips, tools, and motivation you need to stay on track and achieve your dreams. So, if you're ready to turn your vision into action, hit that subscribe button and let's keep growing together.